Hey y'all, what's good? It's Michaela. Welcome to my channel, Trill Truth. Thank y'all so much for being here. If it's your first time on my channel, welcome. I love y'all so much. I pray that you stick around in Jesus' mighty name. So let me just hop into this word, y'all. It's just pressing on my spirit so strong today um, because we're going into February and I was sitting with the Lord personally and this is what I wrote out for my own self, but I felt led to share it because I want to see you guys level up, okay? For real, for real. Like not just having your mind set on oh you know i want to go higher no it needs to hit your heart to where you actually put it into action for real and so with me right now i'm going to give you practical points in how you can advance this next month okay and then also just take this knowledge you know take this wisdom that god has given us and apply it you know deep in your spirit so that way you can really have longevity within the practical steps that i'm giving you okay so the first thing that i'm gonna just start off with is two things fight and fast in february fight and fast okay it's key it is going to be key for your breakthrough in many ways that you need it. Okay, for me personally, there are people that need to be saved. Sometimes th some stuff does not come out without prayer and fasting. Okay, we want to see family members be saved. We want to see breakthrough within, a, you know, whatever it may be within your specific life. Finances, breakthrough within your relationship. Excuse the sound, there's actually a construction company doing construction outside so i pray that you know it won't be a distraction to you guys but yeah um the most important thing you know to see breakthrough is getting closer with god that is the most important thing it is the most important thing and it's the thing that we should hold first and foremost with when we fast okay and our whys like why are we fasting you know, it's not just because, example, oh, I did something wrong. Now I feel like I need to fast. Like, you know, to, to prove that, no, God, like, I, I really am submitted and, and all this stuff. And it's like, he don't need, he don't need nothing from you. Seriously, he doesn't. God is God, okay? It's for you. Have your mind and intention set on what do I need out of this fast? What do, why am I fasting? Why am I doing it? Because if you don't have, um an intention of why you're doing something then there's no point in doing it like for real like what's the point especially when it comes to fasting and you're abstaining from food it's like you're just going on a hunger strike you're <laughs> just don't do that there's no point so you know like really understand why you're doing something okay if you need breakthrough within, um, you know, a, a sin, a certain sin that you're struggling with, fasting is a beautiful way to die to your flesh, okay? And to allow the Holy Spirit as you're praying, as you're getting in the word, as you're bask, learning to bask in his presence, you know? You get delivered from that stuff. It's beautiful, right? And so that's why, guys, we really need to understand our whys. And everybody has their specific season that they're in and everybody's whys are different. So within this video, you know, whatever you take from the certain practical points that I give you, apply it in the way that you need to apply it within your life, right? Within your personal life, within your relationship with God, okay? So let's just get right into it. The first thing, fight. Fight through the discipline, okay? This right here is non-negotiable. It's not negotiable. We have to train our mind to say that there we can't even negotiate this. These are all things that we have to do. When we train our mind to think like that, that I can't even negotiate this. Like I have to, I literally have to. Then you start to understand that it's like, there's no debate. <laughs> like there's no excuse, just do it, right? Discipline, train oneself to do something in a controlled and habitual way. Practical examples of this, pray at a certain time every day this month. This one I'm gonna do. Set a slot, you know? Structure. Read at a certain time every day this month. Praise and worship every day for one hour. You know? These are practical things we could be doing, you guys. February, if you watch this video and it's not February and you know God has you watching this whenever it's time for you to watch it, God be the glory. Take this and apply it because listen when we set out those times and those slots god honors that he's like okay my daughter my son is being intentional 
you know, God is going to show up. God shows up. It's just like, where are we though? Where are we postured at? Are we even getting in the posture? That's the whole point, you know? So it's like, we got to really be mindful and intentional about actually doing it. Like, get up and do it. <laughs> like, like, you know, put it into action. That's what he wants to see. That's what we need to partner with God. We have to do our part, okay? So this one, I love this one right here. Um, serve and help someone with something every day in some way. This could be anything, but have your heart open and be ready to help the next person, whatever that may be. You may see somebody who's struggling with their groceries. Offer to help take those groceries to their car. If they decline, that's fine, but at least you tried to help. That's just a small example, you know, but it could be anything. And within that, this builds character and shapes selflessness, which is so important. Okay. God's way. When we do these things God's way, you know, and we're allowing it to build our character and to really help shape our selflessness, because that's what the gospel is. Selflessness. All right. It helps us be holy. It helps us walk in the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. You guys, we embody that when we do these things and it keeps us lowly. You know, it keeps us humble. So these are all good things. These are practical things that can help us advance in Christ and in our life. You know, next thing, take care slash <laughs> stay on top of household tasks examples of this cleaning organization having things in order you know overall just having things in order right like an example of having things in order specifically paperwork planning you know um meal prepping budgeting stuff like that like really map it out map it out it helps i promise you it helps and <laughs> like whenever i don't do that for a while or like i'm lacking I feel the difference. I truly do. Because I'm the type of person that likes to map things out. Like, I was just sitting with God today. And this was downloaded to me with the Lord, you know. And so, that's just what I mean. It's like, just, uh, just sit in silence and really understand the full picture of things and write it down. It's so helpful. It's so helpful. So, next thing. Self-care maintenance. Now, this is one of my favorite things ever, you know? Like, this is what comes natural to me, I will say. So, but this doesn't come natural to everybody, you know? Some people have to, like, write this stuff out and make a schedule for it because maybe they have maybe, like, four kids or something like that, and it's hard for them to maintain their self-care and stuff. Like, I get it. I get it. Not, not like that I live that life, but I get it in the sense of I can understand where that person is. You know, and how hard it could be because it takes a lot, especially when you're not trained to just do it. You know, like I personally am in this. And so I'd, I'd be willing to help keep you guys accountable in that area, you know, however God leads me to do so. Um, and I would be more than happy to help you guys understand how to do this uh, self-care maintenance, you know, practically. Some examples of this is skincare routine day and night. I know when you have a full face of makeup on and you know you get home from a late night at work or whatever the case and you just want to lay down and crash, take your makeup off. <laughs> this is I'm I'm like commanding this from me, okay? Your sister in Christ, your big sister, your little sister, like yo, take your makeup off. Get some micellar water, okay? I'll put a picture here, the one that I use it's brightening it's like it's it's amazing get some um you know little what do they even what do they call them little pads cloth pads whatever and get wipe your makeup off <laughs> like don't do that really it's not good for your skin it's not good for your pores you know like that stuff seeps into your skin our skin is where our cells rejuvenate overnight so you don't want this nasty cake cakey type products getting into your pores at night when you're sleeping it's not healthy okay so you want to make sure that you 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 get out of bed 
stop being lazy when it comes to this, okay? I'm, I'm trying to tell you, you want clear skin, listen to me. Wash your pillowcases too. Because you, you can get like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll say this. I sleep on my stomach. I'm a stomach, I'm a stomach sleeper. And I always sleep on this side of my face, right? And so I tend to break out on this side of my face. Like, if I don't wash my pillowcases at least once a week. Like, for real. It, it can get like that because I have super sensitive skin. But anyways, definitely do that and be mindful about that, you guys. And you'll see a huge difference, okay? The next one regular baths and shower routines to exfoliate you know wax tweeze do all that type of stuff like make time for it you know and me personally i love baths and thank god you know it is a luxury for me to have a bathtub like i don't take that for granted you know because i truly <laughs> a friend of mine i was in the bath and she had called me and she was like all right anyways i won't go into the story but basically i always take baths but i'm just like it's truly my time to just you know, there's something so, just so relaxing, especially if you're a person who works out a lot, like to sit in the bathtub with some bubbles and just to like relax, man. Get you some ice cold water in a wine glass. <laughs> For real. Put on some soft, like, uh, you know, Christian music or, you know, whatever, but really take that time, y'all. Like, it's so important and it's so amazing. Like, you get out and you're just like, ugh. Like I needed that, that felt so good, right? Um, so it's important that we make time for stuff like that. And even a good shower, like man, I know when I wanna clear my mind sometimes, like I just get in the shower and I, I'll wash my hair. Like there's something so therapeutic with that. And a lot of times God will speak to me while I'm in the shower. I know a lot of people that that happens to them. So, you know, that's when we don't have our phones, no distractions and we're just in the shower, right? So it's good to take those showers, those regular, just cleansing, have those regular cleansing moments. You know, God wants to cleanse us within and outwardly. So it's like, we need to be mindful about doing that. Don't nobody want to be dirty and like sitting around and like conjuring up all this filth inside and outside. Like, no, we need to be clean. Okay. We need to be clean vessels. <laughs> so yeah, in that, make sure that we're hydrated from within. Hydrate. Okay hydrate that is good for your skin but also hydrate externally you know with creams and lotions and serums and whatever you guys need for your specific body all right if you have sensitive dry skin use things like you know that have natural products you know oat oats are really good for that like oatmeal type stuff and you know things y'all get it I'm not gonna go into detail, this video will be really long because again, I love all of this stuff that I'm talking about right now. But yeah, like understand what your skin is. You know, ask God to give, if you don't know, ask God to give you wisdom, even with stuff like that, he cares about everything. He cares about all the details, y'all. Listen, the next thing, clean condition and, what's the next? Oh yeah, style your hair. <laughs> clean condition and style your hair you know it makes you feel better i know when my hair is all crazy like matted together and all that type of stuff curly hair specifically is very hard to take care of um <laughs> you know it's it's just constant products constant like tending to it making sure that nothing gets nat like uh natted up ratted up whatever y'all want to call it nappy but yeah yo like it takes a minute and so it takes time. You need to care for yourself, you know, even if you need to get a protective style, you know, it budget a certain time, budget a certain amount, you know, if you can't do it yourself, I do my own twist, thankfully, you know, it's good to, for us to learn how to do these things so we can save, save a coin, you know, if you can't do it yourself, budget to have somebody else do it for you, you know? And make that a thing where you put it in a protective style and now you're good to go. Now you look fly, you know, you look cute, bomb, and you ain't got to worry about it for a minute. Guys, you know, have, get, a, get a fresh haircut. I know y'all feel better afterwards because y'all be acting like different people after. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But for real, you know, like y'all feel better about yourself, you know, like you feel like, I look clean, cause you do. And so again, just like the females, like budget out. If you live in a more expensive city and it costs, you know, a lot more, then budget out 
money within that time, you know, how many haircuts you get a month, budget that. So that way you could already have that taken out and you know, you know, you can upkeep yourself, you know, so you don't look like a caveman if you don't prefer that look. <laughs> But anyways, y'all get the point. So just be mindful about everything. Be mindful about all this. Um, this goes for men and women. Keep your nails and your toes clean, cut, and hydrated. You know, for me, during the summer, it's weird because you would think like during the winter, it it gets dry and stuff like that. But for me, it's like during the summer time, I don't know why, like my feet just get so dry and it's, it's maybe because I'm wearing like open-toed shoes more you know and I'm walking and then it's just like I don't know why it gets like that but my heels and stuff get drier during that time and so just finding really good lotions that help with that is good you know there's this one brand I'll put it right here um it's called happy feet it's really good for that it really takes care of that problem you know so we just have to be mindful about our nails even if they're short like mine right now I feel like I need them done which I will get them done soon, but at least they're short and they're clean, right? Like we have to be mindful about those things because we don't want dirty nails. Like we're ha we have to touch things. Like, <laughs> you know, we eat food. Like we don't want to have that. We don't want to carry germs, active, dirty, visible germs on us. You know, like we have to be mindful about these things. And the next one I wrote was work out. You know, this could be the gym, this could be walking, this could be jogging, whatever that looks like for you, but just get active, right? That's the next one. Enjoy act or enjoy active activity. And so, you know, like I know it's, you know, wintertime still ish for some people and it could be hard to go out and do things like that. Enjoy active act activity, you know, that could be just having a family outing one day. You know, everybody, again, everybody's life looks different, but just in, find some way to enjoy and get out and be active, you know? For me personally, um, I like to roller skate. So like I roller skate, nature, and just family outings with my son, with my French bulldog, you know? Like we just, we, <laughs> we just like being outside, you know? I'm a, I'm a very outdoorsy type of female. So, you know, it, it's beautiful, it helps. And I put that in with the self-care maintenance because it matters. It matters with your mental health, you know? It matters with your body and just getting active and getting out there. Like, it's important that we implement those things into our weekly schedules, you know, on the weekend. If you, even if you work on weekends, but you're off during the week, take that time to go do something nice, you know? I used to love going to the lake which I still do. I need to get more into that again. But just going to like a quiet lake and going there and writing. You know, I love to write poetry when I'm out there. I get inspiration from the trees and things like that, you know? So, or even if you're a person who likes to fish. I wish I could fish more. I I definitely want to get into that too uh, with my son. There's a little picture of him. He went fishing when he was with my family. But yeah, I just love stuff like that, you know? So you guys, we just have to enjoy life while we're implementing all of this stuff because there's it's a work-life balance you know like spiritually too it's like we're, we're spirit beings first and so as we're doing this work-life balance how we need to be within that is grounded within Christ so that way what we speak about we could have that godly character, that selflessness to be able to help people, you know, God's way, being holy, being lowly, all right, and walking in the fruits of the spirit, all while we're having this work-life balance. It's a beautiful thing, okay? It's a beautiful recipe of just being the light of the world, you know? It's beautiful. So let's continue. <laughs> Food choices. Now, I like to eat. Okay, I like to eat. I know y'all like to eat too. Who doesn't like food, right? <laughs> but we have to be health conscious. That's how I like to label myself. You know, I'm not vegan or vegetarian or pescatarian or whatever the case. I'm just health conscious. That's what I said. Because I'm not against eating chicken, you know, or turkey or fish. Like that, those are the three that I really eat, you know. Um, and there's no problem with that. But I stay away from the, it all being fried. Like I grill my stuff. I always grill it. So, you know, just be mindful about how you prepare these things, you know? 
um when you hydrate i drink so much water my son drinks so much water like we go through a gallon literally a gallon a day but like a gallon and a half because it's both of us and we just we drink a lot so um thank god water's cheap like <laughs> if water was an arm and a leg we had we'd have an issue all right i'd be living i don't even know anyways water 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 i know out here in la we have to pay for it because we can't drink tap or nothing our tap is not good for us um it's toxic so you know like hey if you're in a place where you're tapping that bad make sure you're getting some water intake no matter what all right find a way <laughs> find a way to get some water in your system you know drink healthy um fruit juices like for me i love orange juice orange juice is my favorite of all time um and then like oat milk almond milk like things like that like i can't personally unfortunately eat like dairy and cheese um or drink dairy eat cheese and cheese is like one of my favorite things so i'm really sad about that but even that you guys like we have to limit those things <sighs> it's one of those things where it's like god man this is see this is when i need jesus because i'm like lord you know i like me some cheese well what are we gonna do like what are we gonna do <laughs> i'm partially italian like this ain't this ain't adding up but anyways that actually follows into this next thing too do the things that benefit you even when you don't want to i'm gonna get into that but let me just finish this you know these practical points real fast stay away from fried from stay away from fried foods limit carbs and sugar try your best to limit those things okay more fruits and veggies protein shakes i know for me i drink uh bcaa after my workouts and stuff which just gives us extra um nutrients and vitamins to our muscles as a recruit as they recover um as we're lifting weights and stuff because if you guys didn't know real quick side note um whenever you lift weights and you're you know getting gains in your muscles what you're doing is tearing the muscles so those are called micro tears and so that's why you're sore the day after and stuff because your muscles have now torn okay and when they when they tear they need that nutrients in order to build back up together and then that's when they get stronger so that bcaa is just going to help that so maybe that was for somebody um i'll show you the one that i use right here and it's really good you just mix it up you just take a scoop mix it in some water shake it up and you're good to go you just drink that and yep after your workout you're fine and it's really beneficial so so again do the things that benefit you even when you don't want to all right benefit what does that mean an advantage or profit gained from something so benefit you're it's for your advantage it's to your profit right like this is the reason why you're doing these things again it goes back to your why like why right it's to benefit you i always tell my, myself this so this is re the reason why i wrote it are you being an asset or a liability to yourself Okay, you need to declare and decree right now. I am an asset to myself and those around me. All right, you are an asset to the, to yourself and those around you. And that's just what it is. And this is why we need people who are assets in our life and who are not, you know, stumbling blocks and hindrances to us, you know, who are cause who are being liabilities in our lives and our personal lives you know what i'm saying like we need people who are going to be assets you know in every aspect you know our close-knit people who we surround ourselves with especially you know they gotta they gotta be spiritually inclined you know especially when god wants to use you specifically like you can't be surrounding yourself with everybody you can love everybody you know what i'm saying you can associate you know like high type thing like that but to be close knit, like you need people who are going to sharpen you, you know, benefit you, <laughs> profit you as you benefit and profit them. You know what I'm saying? We got to be assets to people. And so there's that. Now with the fasting, now we're getting into the fasting, right? This is a scripture, Mark 8, 36. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? I, I felt led to put that one because we talked about profit, right? What's everything that we talked about, you know, what's that all to profit us if we lose our soul? Like, we need to fast. We need to make sure that we're living a lifestyle of fasting. 
right? And it's just, and I wrote this, it's extremely important to die to ourselves and elevate spiritually. Cause that's the whole point. That's the whole point of fasting right there, you know? In that, we need to understand how to go about it. And the most powerful way to really, really, really do it and access breakthrough and things like that, we have to dwell in God's presence. And I feel like this is one thing too that it'll change the game for you. If you understand that not you're not just praying, you're dwelling. Dwell in God's presence. What does it mean to dwell? Dwell. Live in or at a specified place. That's what it means to dwell. Of one's eyes or attention. Linger on a particular object or place, right? Which in this case, it's God. And so as we're dwelling, you know, as we're lingering in his presence, which means, oh, there's not a time frame here. You know, when I'm in the presence of God, there is no time. People who know, they know, you know, like we are, there is no time. Like God's presence is just so good. You know, you'll feel the Holy Spirit and, and you'll know when to wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? But really though, it's like, when we dwell in God's presence, it's because we want to be at that place. We want to sit there. We want to just bask. Like there's a difference. And it's important to understand that and to really, you know, allow yourself to get in that position more and more. So that way you know how to do that. So you know what that looks like, right? And so that way you can gain that closer, tight-knit relationship with God. Because it's helpful. And in that... Full focus has to be on the Lord. Full focus. Kind of like what the definition says in dwell. It says of one's eyes or attention. Where's your attention? Are you in the word, but you're thinking about something else? You know, are you in prayer, but you're thinking about something else? Like our full focus has to be on God. And we have to train ourselves to do these things, you guys. Like it doesn't come easy. We're, <laughs> we have a flesh, you know, the, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Like a lot of times, this is the reason why we need to have discipline. We need to do it when we don't want to, okay? Now, this is a really good practical point too for fasting. Map out prayer points for breakthrough. So like already go into it. Again, write it down. Sometimes that's really helpful where you're not just going into it, you know, just boom, which that's okay too. But to really just map it out, you guys, especially when you're fasting, like fasting is, is it's a little bit different. You know, you have to go in there being intentional, kind of like what I was saying earlier. You don't want to just go on a hunger strike. You want to just be intentional about what it is you're coming to God with and laying at the altar. So map out prayer points for breakthrough, repentance, worship, warfare, <laughs> repentance worship warfare like that is the recipe because we have to repent when we come to god's presence we are flawed beings we need to repent if you're not repenting for something i don't care unknowingly and unknowingly repent <laughs> repent worship it's so beautiful worshiping the lord there's man i love to worship i love to get lost in it it's one of my, it, it is one, it is my favorite thing on this earth because truly when I worship, I just, it's everything else. It just, it fades away. And we can't say that about too many things on this earth. So worship is very important. Put on some instrumentals, you know, sing, do whatever that's going to, that's going to look like, look different for everybody, but you know, really get have your heart postured in a way where it's like lord all i want is you i'm here for you i glorify your name that's what we're gonna be doing in heaven worshiping god that's what we're gonna do in heaven yo and it's gonna be amazing because like i said that's the most amazing thing we could ever do so you know like come on now um what's the next thing warfare this too write it down write it down because we again we got we, especially when it comes to warfare man like warfare is not a game we gotta break these demonic altars we gotta we gotta bind <laughs> okay we gotta rebuke like we gotta really get serious about this thing of course the lord is gonna do it but what are we saying you know like we really need to come in agreement and have awareness now have awareness of what's going on in the spirit realm because that helps in warfare prayer. It really does. 
to know that, okay, I see the spirit on this person. You know, let me pray against that Leviathan spirit, that Jezebel spirit, you know, that Python spirit, that religious spirit on people. Like, and just pray against it. Pray, pray that God humble them in the way that they need to be humbled. You know, whatever that looks like. But just so that they can come to a place of repentance, you know, and, and truly have a, and gain a true relationship with God for real. A heart encounter with Christ. You know, declare and decree and prophesy. Speak life. That's the main thing. We got to speak life. Speaking life is our weapons of warfare. The word. God's word is alive. It's active. So you guys, that's really what was laid on my spirit today um, to go ahead and share. Again, I felt so happy to share this with you guys because I could have kept it to myself. But why would I do such a thing? You know, like this is... I want you guys all to win. I want you guys all to advance in the kingdom. If you watch this whole entire video, God be the glory. I love you so much. I pray that you stick around for the next one. Until next time.